Hi, I'm uh, Kevin Proto with Local Supporting Locals uh, for the Heartbeat of the Okanagan, and uh, we're at the uh, Dogtown Cafe for the uh, first official meeting of uh, group members that are part of the uh, Time for Change Penticton here. And uh, so we're just doing some little uh, interviews with people and seeing what got them involved, why are they interested, in, and where do they see things going from, uh, from here. And we're here with Hilma LaBelle, um, who I personally like as well for what she's doing there with the incredible edible Penticton. So Hilma, uh, can you tell us uh, what got you interested in Time for Change and if you can tell us um, a little bit why, where you see things going or would like to see them going. Okay, Kevin, so I've sort of been what I call uh, in community engagement and community development for about 30 years here. Uh, I founded the Women's Centre here in 1984 and since then I've sat on just about every committee I think there's ever been in the social service sector. And so over that 30 year period we've seen the same issues keep coming up, affordable housing, um, you know, full-time, uh, well-paying jobs, uh, living wage, um, and I guess that sort of led me into my semi-retirement project, which is looking at food for all. And, um, you know, to that endeavor, I've um, uh, researched and joined um, a project known as Incredible Edible. It's oh, I love that too. I mean, yeah. a healthy community is number one first in yeah. order to make change. Well, change. you know, it's well known that if kids in school don't eat before they go to school, they can't think, they can't learn. Um, and it's the same with anyone in the community. If you really want to make change in the community, you have to have a healthy community from the ground up. Exactly. And, that, and that's one thing that we're very heavy about promoting with local, supporting locals. Yeah. We do that with our calendar, Real Living with Real Food. That's a key part too. It is is where our seeds are coming from, the heirloom seeds, you know, we want to have good, you know, and so I, I, I'm, I'm very impressed with what uh, you're doing with so, that. You know, people need, you know, good nutrient-dense food in order to think correctly. Um, there's now studies that show that people that work in gardens um, actually receive a micro through the skin that actually helps to combat depression. So when you're looking at healthy communities or what I like to call a community of kindness, uh, then we're looking at how do we support people that maybe don't have the means to support themselves. Um, and that's so very important work. But it really begins with nourishing our community through healthy food. Oh, what is it? The, uh, awareness and then solutions here. So, uh, why, why you need to know about your food and what you, where it comes from, and also to know what it does for you. Because it, it, it's funny, like, because I, mean, I, I have friends that uh, you know that think I'm very passionate about my food, but I watch their diets and I watch the way their antics are and their health. And I've and I've swayed a few friends over to the organic and natural lifestyles, and it's amazing. The, the thank yous and the seeing the exuberance out of them and the excitement. And, you know. and what I love about the incredible edible model, edible model is that it's inclusive. It, 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 actually, the motto is if you eat, you're in. Oh, there you go. <laughs> All right, thank you so much, Hilma. <laughs> okay, thanks a lot.